Hello guys, welcome back to Undertale. Haven't played this game in a while. Took a little break because I couldn't get past Metaton, but look at what happened! I beat Metaton. He finally made it through after like 20 minutes of complaining to me. Oh, and I'm here with my good friend Isaac. He's just gonna join <laughs> me on this, uh, this little adventure. I uh, can't see what's... what's going on, so I'm just gonna <laughs> take it from what you're saying. For what's left of the adventure, anyway. Um, ju I'm just getting things situated yeah. here. As I've said before, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you've still got a long way to go, man. <sighs> He's already beaten it, so... Beaten it? I freaking speed ran anyway. that. Well, wait! I mean, um, I... I was just going to, um, say goodbye, and... Uh, I can't take this anymore. I'm narrating. Shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You're like legit talking to me. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> if you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I don't want to, though. I don't want to kill anybody! I didn't even want to kill Metaton! But, you, you, you have to. <laughs> fix. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't just technically... knocked his arms off. Yeah, I mean, plus... Uh, yeah, I, I guess I didn't <laughs> technically beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Fuck, uh, plus, like Alphys said, he runs on batteries. <laughs> anyway. Stick the batteries up his butt. I'm sorry. Okay, bye, Alphys. Talk to you later. <laughs> Let <him make. laughs> Eesh. This game's audio is really fucking loud. <laughs> down. I am. That's just what I did. Oh. Sorry if you can see my mouse cursor. I'm moving around on the screen. Okay. Ooh. It's all gray up here. At least there's a save point, so I don't have to deal with that bullshit again. I beat it with two health left, and I'll put up a screenshot as proof, too, so... Stressed up, JPEG. <laughs> no, actually, um, I saved it as, in all caps, HOLY FUCKING SHIT THAT WAS CLOSE, <laughs> dot PNG. Whoa, what the fuck? Dude. Okay, this is just, this is so cool looking, everything's... I like this grayscale. Just, this city looks amazing. I wish you could, like, actually go in and, like, adventure around there. That would be pretty fucking sweet. It'd be cool. But, you know, time constraints. Well, yeah. Ow, my knee. I'm not sure if you heard that, but I just slammed <laughs> my knee on my desk. Oh, yeah, I definitely heard it, man. <laughs> Oof. I need a taller desk. Oh, finally, there's some music. God I love the soundtrack to this game, oh, man. So are you at the feels music? Oh, I think you're at the feels part. Well, there's you some are. acoustic guitar. Yep, you're at the feels part. Dude, Get ready for what? some feels, man. Is this... This looks like Toriel's house. Oh, here come the feels. It's a golden flower. What's, what's this say? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Well, I guess... Oh, this song is so sad. Whoa, there's monsters in it? Oh, it's a couple of froggets. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, it's gonna... It's gonna drop a ton of exposition on me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be crying by the end of the day, man. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Ah. I didn't know my phone had a keychain on it. It's a... Ooh, there's it's a trophy in this room. It's a Swiss Army knife. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Oh yeah, there's, there's lots of little details in here, so be sure to check around. Alright, I'm gonna read this book. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages... All the current page says is, it's a uh, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Apologies for 
not speaking correctly, my mouth is incredibly dry. <laughs> After the fucking Metaton battle. So right. screaming the whole time? <laughs> no, I wasn't screaming, I was just really fucking focused. Alright, that room is <laughs> under construction, apparently. <gasps> There's presents! There's a Warren dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Uh, shit, I'm gonna take a drink. Does it matter if I take this dagger or not? Uh, not negatively. Um, I'll leave it for now. What's in this other box? There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Yes! I'll take the heart-shaped locket. Let's see what it does. Info. Oh, it's armor! Oh, and it says best friends forever. Well, I mean, couldn't hurt equipping some new armor, huh? Best friends forever. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay. Now I just need to get the key from the kitchen. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's so sad. <laughs> he took the key. Alright. Let's, uh, let's head downstairs. Let's do this. You unlock the chain. Hell yeah. Ooh, I like this sound font. Then, one day, the human became very ill. God damn it, no. No, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> the sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there is nothing we could do. Are those... Those flowers are the ones that are in the house, huh? Maybe. God damn it. No! The next day... The next day... Oh, they just repeat each other, don't they? It, no one wants to say it, man. The human died. See, I, I didn't like where that was going. God damn it. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. I gotta work on my narrator voice, man. I can do a narrator voice, just not for the situation. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body to the sun into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm gonna predict something, okay? I mean, let's hear it, let's hear it. I've not seen anything past this point, mind you. Past the Metaton yeah. fight. Except you do know that you have to fight Sans in Genocide. Though. Yes. Totally. Except I know in Genocide I'll have to fight Sans. But like, like I said, I've not seen anything past the Metaton fight. I'm going to assume the humans thought Azrael killed uh, the human. I mean, might be a little bit of an obvious plot point, but... Anyway, Ezrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Yeah, that, that's... That's gonna be the next line of dialogue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Ezrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the... Yep, yep. They <laughs> thought he killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. Oh shit, did he? DID HE?! But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Oh, so he just fucking took it. 
Yeah. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, so that's why they blocked off the underground. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Fuck, dude. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. God damn it. Oh, the music stopped. That's not a good sign. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Uh, not particularly, no. You're going to be free. Thanks, Froggit. Thanks. Why is there an elevator over here? What the fuck? <laughs> In the middle of just like, super feels. Awesome. Super nice. <laughs> Frog, it's an ancient town. And Oh, hey, look at an elevator. I like the look of this cathedral. I just like the perspective because you're like looking behind pillars. Hi, Sans. I can tell from your shadow that that's you. Bell chimes. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strived to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Fuck off with the acronym. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown them in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? If you count several months breaks between sessions, yes. That's right. You have something <laughs> called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in, in ugh, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Ah. Uh, this is too much pressure. Can I go home without having to kill anybody? No. Too much pressure. You gotta kill everyone. So much pressure. I'll save you. <laughs> what? I actually thought you were legit asking me questions when you were just reading. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, I think this is a good place to stop the episode for right now. See you guys next time on Undertale.